Whoa, 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 I see something much more interesting. Neither Eatery nor Jittery, none of them are good. The good move is actually Queen D4. Hi, puzzle fans. Let's do some puzzles together. As you can see, my puzzle rating dropped a little bit because I played some careless moves. This one, this one is an entertaining puzzle. I am thinking about first check with the rook. King cannot go to f8 because then is a mate with queen so the only valid move is knight takes after knight takes i have a queen f7 check king goes up then bishop check and mate let's do it let's do it let's do it good one uh for this game of puzzle i thought first that okay i give a check at f7 in first moment i saw that f7 but then i noticed that he goes to h6 and i don't have any good continuation the only piece could attack h6 was my bishop but the rook was in the way here is the position if i was going there goes up and then i had nothing so i first moved the rook instead and noticed that couldn't go there because this is a mate so has to take it and know my bishop is free and know I can give it this check at f2 because then if it goes up this is some sort of scissor mate. Scissor mate. Okay, I always pronounce it wrong. Hmm, hmm, hmm. In this position, take the bishop with check. Takes back. Go queen d8. Uh, d1 check. Goes up. Bring the queen or rook in on the e2 square okay let's discuss if i bring the queen to d2 i think the first move first is the force or no it's not force i can do another thing i can say check from d4 with the queen and then take on the take on his rook but this doesn't work because after check at d4 with the queen plays rook uh, f2 rook f2 if i take his uh, rook takes my pawn on f7 with check once i move away he mates me by queen f8 takes takes with the rook so maybe taking the bishop is the move to go but let's see another option is to say check first and then uh, rook f2 then take the bishop takes with the king then i don't have any good check from that point on so i guess my best is to take on the bishop right away and bring to attack queen and the rook and at this position i have two checks with the queen queen f3 and uh, queen d1 queen f3 if he plays rook f2 then uh, queen h1 is a mate so after queen f3 he has to move the king but then he doesn't have a good place to go because this is also a mate good one well we are under check we can capture with the queen of course and then then what if we go up it doesn't seem to be a good idea because it says yeah let's capture and think then because after we capture we still have a very strong attack running by queen e2 so let's do the first move and then think no we cannot do queen e2 because uh, the mm, white queen is defending there but we have queen e5 queen e5 king doesn't have many places to go and we are mating most likely let's calculate exactly because this queen moves are very dangerous but I, I don't have any other active move right i don't have any other check so let's do it and see where it does go, it goes and then calculate no again there are two possible moves uh, to be active moves queen e3 and queen g3 let's calculate both of them queen e3 plays uh, either one 
very uh, Queen G3 has only one move. This is interesting. Has only one move, and that's uh, playing King F1. Instead, uh, in return, Queen E3 has multiple options. Can play uh, King. Can play King F1. Can play King G2. But King G2 is not good because I um, uh, say check at F2 and mate it in the next move. So in either case, he has only King F1 move. And I believe Queen E3 is more accurate one. But maybe it's not. Okay, I am not sure about anything at this moment. Hmm, why it should be a more active one? Both of them, it goes to F1, let's say. What's the difference to be in E3 or G3? G3 is good in a sense that I can give a check with my bishop at G2 in involving my bishop into the attack. But what's the continuation? I give a check with bishop at uh, g2 king goes back then i play bishop f3 king goes to f1 then then what i i see i have a check at g2 but then what's the continuation the king just tries to run and e2 square is occupied by a queen Wow, 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 I see something much more interesting. Neither E3 nor G3, none of them are good. The good move is actually Queen D4 prevents King F1 because in this case, King F1, we can play Bishop C4. Wow, that's amazing puzzle. And this Bishop forks Queen and King. So... Mm, in this case, we are under check and we should move away. Naturally, you go down like to e7 to be as far as possible from your opponent's pieces. But maybe this is not an option here. One bad thing about e7 is that he can play rook d7. And then we go down again, we go to f8. And then he has a runs out of checks. And let's count the pieces. Remove the rooks from by each other. Then we have three pieces. We have exchange. We are exchange up and two pawns. So we should save the game. That's it. We don't need to mate our opponent. Another option is to go to e5. But e5 is really looking weird because after e5, rook uh, plays rook plays d. M5 and then we have no option but to go to f6 and then forks our queen and king so and let's uh, last option is to check uh, c5 but c5 is immediate fork with the knight so we go down no i'm thinking about to going to f8 because mm, there is no more check okay Still is not finished. Come on, chess.com, finish it. And he wants to give a check and win our beautiful queen. I can, of course, play bishop uh, c8 to prevent him winning the queen, but maybe I have a better move to go with. I can take the knight with my bishop and then say check with the queen, and this is a very active move, and I prefer to play this. Let's do it. Oh, oh, I didn't expect that, man. <laughs> Don't do this with me. And now I'm thinking to taking the F pawn with check and then next check win the knight. Oh, good one. Good run. See you next time.